Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up email and SMS in Webinar Loop. Webinar Loop supports both email and SMS follow up. The first step to configuring these is to go to the top admin bar and under your settings tab, set up the SMTP and the Twilio settings. So let's start with the SMTP for email. Here we'll see a list of our various SMTP server details. And under the options column, we can either edit the SMTP details or delete it. I'm going to delete this one so we can install it from scratch. Okay, so to get started, we click the add SMTP button. Then we enter the SMTP address for our server. Then we enter our email ID or username. And password and required port. Then we can set the details that we want to use as the from name and the from email. And then when you're done, save your changes. And this adds our new SMTP to the list. Now what we can do is we can click add SMTP again. And this time in the right side, we can test our added SMTP. So we'll select our SMTP from the drop down list send a recipient email, and then click send. And the SMTP test shows successful. And we can check our email to see the SMTP test mail has arrived correctly. Next, let's go back to webinar loop. And let's go to our webinars dashboard. Now we can go into webinar setup. And in the left-hand sidebar, we can click on the Emails tab. Webinar Loops supports both custom email reminders as well as default mail. The default mail will be sent out using Webinar Loops' default SMTP. But once you set up your own SMTP, you can then enable custom reminders. So let's go ahead and disable the default mail, and we can customize some reminders of our own. So if we have several SMTPs set up, we have to choose the one that we want to use to send. Then we'll scroll down and put our from name. And then a subject. Within the subject line, we can use some of the short codes that are shown here. In this example, we've used the first name short code and the webinar title short code. Then we'll set our from email. And then we can set the email schedule. We can set this email to send at any specific time before the webinar starts or when the webinar starts. So let's send this one one hour before. Then we can customize the email body. And we have a full featured email editor here. So you can create an email here that uses the short codes. In this case, we've used first name, presenters, webinar title, and player link. And when the recipient receives this email, these will all decode correctly. So the email will appear that much more personalized for their experience. You can also format the email however you wish with styles, bold, italic, underline, fonts, colors, justification, hyperlinks, and all the formatting features you would expect of a full featured email editor to make your emails look beautiful. When you're done, click add email. This will add your email to a list of scheduled emails below. If you need to make any edits, you can do so here under the Options column. Make your changes, and then Update. If you decide to remove any scheduled emails, you can just click the trash icon. Next, let's take a look at SMS settings. So let's go to the top here, and under the Settings tab, we'll click on Twilio Settings. Here we'll see a table of our various Twilio numbers. To add a number, click on Add Number and enter your Twilio name and your Twilio number and your account SID and your authorization token. To learn more about acquiring your account SID and authorization token, you can click here. This will take you to the Twilio.com settings page and once you're logged in, you can scroll down and you can see all of your credentials here including the account SID and your auth token. To get your phone numbers, just go to the sidebar here, and under Phone Numbers, you can manage your active numbers here. When you're done, save your changes. Your new Twilio number has been added to the table, 
And to test it, we can click on Add Number, choose the Twilio number to test, send a number to test to, and then send. When you receive the SMS text to your cell phone number, you'll know that the message was successful. Now we can go back to our webinars dashboard and we can select webinar setup. And then in the left sidebar, we can click on SMS. Here we can set up the SMS notifications for our webinar. So first we'll choose our Twilio number. If we've set up several, we'll see them all here. We'll select the one that we've set up and we can enable or disable sending SMS. So we'll keep this enabled. And then we'll create a new SMS here. And once we've written our text message, then we can select the SMS schedule. And we can set this to send when the webinar starts or any period of time before. And then we can add this SMS to our schedule. And we can create as many reminders as we want, and they'll all be sent out automatically. And that's how easy it is to configure your email reminders and SMS reminders using Webinar Loop. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.